Oh, howdy folks, we got something in from our favorite sponsor. Oh yes, Pivor. Uh, let's try to see, let's, let's see what we got. I think this is, uh, I believe this is metal storage for tools, but uh, <coughs> I haven't opened the box yet, so I guess we're gonna find out. But Beaver has so many different things that they carry in a lot of different categories and areas, from restaurants to agricultural and pizza ovens. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, this is, this is gonna be, okay, I guess we're gonna need some wood or something to mount all this up with so we can really look at it. Well, this is a metal, uh, shelf and tool rack system for your drills you know your impact guns all that good stuff so yeah from Vivor so this is going to be this is going to be an interesting kit okay so now that we got all the goodies out of the box uh, man that little box had a lot of stuff in it <laughs> well packed <laughs> you know the there's two shelf units with looks like I guess we could put screwdrivers or something in the rack up there plus you got shelving so you can put stuff on the shelving of course underneath the shelving you've got these and what this does is it allows you to take your drill and hang it like that so in order to put all this together uh, I guess we're gonna have to build the fake wall <laughs> and install this into something uh, it also comes with these two skid pads you know these rubber you know sort of skid pads you can I guess you could put those down on top of the shelving here and that would help so that things don't you know fall through or something for the shelving it's kind of an interesting kit it's very different twist there's so many of these out in the market right now that they're they're all different this is more of a you know a nice shelf that could be vertically this way or horizontally you could lay your shelf and your your tool hangers out and it's called the, of course, it is the Power Tool Organizer from Vivor. So, and it comes with a really big, uh, that's a, yeah. So, in fact, okay, they've got pictures here. I guess I'll show you the pictures. <laughs> and, yeah, focus, focus, yeah. And the, uh, so you can do it lengthwise or you could do it, you know, stack it kind of thing, rack. And it's a nice little metal rack kit. Not very expensive, but it is from Vivor. And Vivor has Viva War has got a lot of different uh, tool organizers so this is a this is a specific one that's on sale right now that's why I've got it here that's why I'm showing it to you well about a half hour later and think we have the fake wall <laughs> now we can put this stuff up and bam there it is it's up yeah I just put one of each up so that you can see now uh, I think I was a little off on this because I thought you could alternate, or, you know, alternate between the two like this or something, but they don't recommend it for this particular kit. And they have like five of these kits. A link will be in the description below where you can find this particular kit from Vivor. Great price. You know, you're not, you know, instead of wasting your time trying to build something like this, you just get it from Vivor, stick it on a wall, and you can get to your real good projects that you're really highly interested in. Now, the first thing uh, I did too is I put one of each up so that we could take a look at this. This is the one with the screwdriver, like I said, the rack. You could probably even, certain small pliers and stuff, you could probably even fit them in here like the needle nose or something like that. But they have a lot of, you know, multiple holes in there so you can, you know, stack your screwdriver set or whatever with your power stuff. And also uh, with these uh, anti-skid pads, you can put the anti-skid pad up on the shelf here yeah, better than me. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, once we get that up there, well, you could put your uh, you could put your chargers or something like that up there. Maybe have some batteries up there, something like that, to go with your uh, with your stuff, your drills, your impact guns, whatever you have. I've got a little bit of everything here. Uh, I just threw the uh, different ones on just so I could you know check it all out. Granted, there's people that do this, and then there's people that will do that. And I again, I yeah, you know what? Comment below. Do you think upside down is better or do you care? I don't know personally. Uh, I like it this way because I have OCD. And also it helps to keep the dust and dirt away from this area where the connection electrically is being made. So I kind of prefer to hang my drills right side up that way. Uh, and a lot of times uh, I leave the batteries in them too often, but I do that, yes. The thing is this will hold four, that'll hold four. So you can hold eight all together. I don't think I have eight. I probably have about maybe four or five of these all together, I guess, right now. Uh, and also the uh, rack, same thing. You know, you could 
put several different things up here, uh, drill bits, you know, something like that, or even the uh, driver bits for the impact down, something like that could go up here, or even go in these holes if you're uh, if they're slotted correctly. I don't know if that would work. Yeah, they might fall through. Yeah. But for screwdrivers and other wrenches and things, that would be a place to do it. Now, I put it on the wall here with just a couple screws because obviously this is the fake temporary wall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other good thing, that a feature that they have is this hook at the end here, which goes up. Now, it depends on where you locate this, but if you're around any kind of like heavy vibration where the tools might move around a little bit, if it was straight off the shelf, it could vibrate and you know maybe fall out or something. But this way, you have that little bit of extra hook back here, which will help you know keep the tool up on there and not end up falling on the floor on you or something. So it's an you know again great kit, power organizer, yeah, great stuff. Uh, also used a level to make sure that uh, you know everything was you know oh yeah it had to be level when we uh, installed it. You know <laughs> even though. This is all just temporarily put up. And I just used a couple of sheet metal, uh, or no, sorry, I used drywall screws for this one, just some cheapies. Uh, they come with a really nice set of uh, screws. Also, they come with these uh, drywall plugs. I am not fussy on drywall plugs, I'm just not. Uh, if I was going to install this kit in a wall somewhere, I would definitely make sure I hit wood, you know, so that it's up there, it's sturdy, it's strong, and you can put, you know, some fairly hefty things on here without worrying about, you know, the drywall plugs coming out of there or something. So, yeah, I'm just just not big on that. <clears throat> never have been, never will be. The uh, kit comes with two of these and two of these, and and the the screws and of course your two uh, rubber pads for your shelf. Now, I did make a mistake. The shelf actually, this particular kit, because like I said, there's about five of them. This particular kit is designed theoretically so that you'd put the next shelf right here and keep going. You know, this way. And I thought maybe you could stagger them, but this kit is not, it could work. I mean, you could, you could theoretically put another shelf below if you had enough height. But, you know, if you get too high, obviously it gets kind of stupid too. So it's really, the kit is really this way to go, you know, lengthwise across. So I uh, did not realize that when I first opened the box, but there you go. Yes, from Vibor. Our friends at Vibor sent this over, just said, here, you know, show everybody. Have a look at it. It's cool. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so, so it looks like it's hitting around that forty-dollar range for the kit. So that's, you know, like I said, that's pretty reasonable. I invite you to take a look at those links below that we'll have for finding this kit from Vibor. And I want to thank Beaver for sending this over to us. What an interesting kit. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. And we're gonna call it a short one today. But yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> over. <laughs>